Yo, what is good YouTube's? It's your boy Ray and this is the Everyday City Carry. And today we're gonna be taking a look at what's inside here. This video was brought to you by Asia the Amazing Outdoors. Located in Woodridge, New York, you can enjoy the amazing outdoors in the Catskills. There's camping, ATV rentals, ATV riding lessons, guided ATV tours, and much more. Give them a follow on Instagram and shoot them a DM for inquiry. Or you can email them at asianewyork at gmail.com. This video was brought to you by nafsale.com. This website is for knife lovers everywhere. Anyone in the world can buy or sell knives here on a truly customized platform made for people like us, man. But I listed knives, they asked what the blade steel was and you get choices right there. They ask you what the scales are made out of and you got choices right there. The point where I knew that this was made by a knife lover, when I had to select what brand the knife was and all the brands we know and love were on there. Secure payments and safe shipping. You get tracking for literally everything. When you get paid, when something was sold, when the money is on the way, you get insurance as well, dude. There's a rating system, and if you have a good track record, you're actually eligible for giveaways, which they will do in the future. There's a giveaway going on right now. For the first 300 users, you're eligible to win a TRM Shadow, bruh. That's crazy. And lastly, the customer service is done by real people. I know this because I have been working with nafsale.com daily and they get back to me really quick. Forget eBay, forget all these other sites. Head on over to nafsale.com where EDC folks buy and sell their knives. It's the evolved EDC Sin. I did get some stickers in this and I know you can buy these stickers right now on the website. I will link the website in the description. And it comes with this best tech wiping cloth this is a review model so i don't know if this is what you're gonna get in the actual drop but the oem for this knife is best tech aesthetics i think the blade shape of this is the most divisive thing on this knife all right some people love these little ramps right here like me some people do not I like the profile of this knife. It looks kind of like some, I don't know, some pterodactyl dinosaur type bird and swooping down and killing fools. You know what I'm saying? The micarta looks really nice. The titanium looks sick. You got a nice flush backspacer. The pocket clip fits with the knife too, in my opinion. Ergonomically, I have small fish paw hands. This is where it lands right here. This is my natural grip, as I want to call it. Uh, some people hold their knives like this. I never do that. You know what I'm saying? That's just not my style. I usually do this, or sometimes with the package opening, you're gonna be doing stuff like this. So these uh, little ramps on the top actually are useful. You know what I'm saying? I guess for more precise cutting work like this. The ergonomics are very comfortable though. Check that out right there. Of course, you're gonna have this little pokey factor with the micarta, which we'll talk about later. Um, the pocket clip does not poke at your hand because it is straight, baby. My favorite part of a knife review, the action. This one is a guillotine, bro. Straight up guillotine, you're gonna get marks on your thumb, which us action and flicking, flipping snobs love, dude. This is really, really great action. Let's see, money. Really, really nice action on this one. Your blade is LMAX. It is hollow ground with stone flats. I read that from the website. LMAX is tougher than S30V and has better edge holding than S35VN. LMAX is made using third generation powder metallurgy stainless steel. The granule size of the metal powder is very small. I got that from alphaknifesupply.com. With the scales, you're gonna be looking at titanium bolsters. Micarta scales, which look great. And these are sourced in the USA. They do mention that on a website, so of course, I'm gonna mention that here. Now we're gonna get into the weight of this knife. We get in high tech, baby. I have a scale now, which we are gonna use for the first time in a video. Let's turn that on right there. You're looking at 4.13 ounces. 
Now the pocket clip is titanium, which is very ergonomic. It does not poke at your hand at all and is nicely contoured, but how does it perform in the pocket? We have got even more apparati or apparatus or whatever you call this. We got the cutoff jean shorts right here. Let's see how it does in the pocket. That is money, bro. Now you do have some real estate sticking out, bro. Nice pocket clip. Now the price on this is $269, which I think is fair for the LMAX, the Micarta, and the titanium bolsters. I thought this would be around like 275, 280 because it is eight inches overall. So that's a really good price in my opinion. You do have a bolster lock and I wanna talk about that micarta situation that I was talking about earlier, okay? This is like the curse of all bolster locks is this part right here, the micarta is always gonna be kind of just poking at you a little bit. Not as noticeable with the sin because the curvature here like lends itself so that you don't feel that that much. But if you slide your fingers through that, you definitely feel like, oh shit, that's sharp. But every bolster lock has that. I haven't come across a micarta bolster lock knife that doesn't have this problem. The bearings on this are ceramic. Let's give you a shot of that inside. I'm not gonna open this because it's not my knife. And it has a detent ball, which you can actually see right there. Now for the size comparisons, we're gonna put this down. This is the Evolved EDC Sin. You've got eight inches overall on that one. This is the biggest knife in my collection, the biggest folder at least, which is the Tucson TS-165. I had to pull this one out of the vault just to get something pretty large. That is 8.58 inches overall. And then we got a small guy here, the trusty Ontario Rat number two right? And this one is going to be seven inches overall. So what's the conclusion on this one, man? I like it, dude. <laughs> I do like the blade, actually. I love worn cliffs, and I think this is useful. It's just going to depend on whether you like this design or not. The materials are worth the money, in my opinion. This is one of those small batch knives. You get micarta titanium, getting great action, D10 ball, ceramic bearings, titanium pocket clip. There's no shortcuts here. You get a tie pocket clip, not a wired one. And the OEM is best tech. So I think that this is a really good price, 269 bucks on a pre-order. Drop in the comments what you think of the Evolved EDC Sin. And remember, I got links for you in the description if you are interested in this one. This is your boy Ray, and this is the Everyday City Carry. Say in peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.